footworks, I was hugely impressed. You need to be a little bit more up on your toes, but it was packed full of fantastic rhythm. You can dance. It's Chris and Diane. <laughs> Uh, Chris, we'll talk about your brilliant jive in just a minute, but I want to clear up some confusion because on Monday's show, Toya said that you were the one to beat, but some people misunderstood what she said. I just want to check, you and Toya are all good, right? We're all good. I had to be told about it because I didn't watch it. I mean, the last <laughs> thing I need is more Strictly, so I don't watch it. <laughs> Um, so, but, but I mean, I can't believe I've got a comment on it, to be honest. She's been nothing but lovely. She, I mean, she genuinely said to me when she went out and we all cuddled on the dance floor, she went, you're going to win this. And like, so she's lovely. Her intention is gorgeous. She's insane for thinking that. Let's not let her off for that. <laughs> but but it's, it's, it's madness in it, you know? Yeah. It's, I mean, tomorrow the headline will be Chris McCausland thinks Toya Wilcox is insane. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, but it's good to hear that you're all right, isn't it? And yeah. that you don't watch It Takes Two, so thanks for that. Oh, all no. right, uh, Chris, back to last Saturday, though. You always look like you're having the best time on the dance floor when you come out and do your numbers. You were a huge Wayne's World fan. What was it like for you on Saturday night? Did you have the best time? <laughs> Sorry. I, um, I'll start watching, I promise. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it was brilliant. And, and you know what, like, we're in the, getting the, the, the wig on and everything, and it was, like, cemented onto my head, and then the... the <laughs> <laughs> cap had to be sewn onto me head so he didn't come off during the head banging. Yeah. And you, you feel like you're in, in, in the character, you know? And um, the, the, it was just relentless, wasn't it? So, <laughs> you know, for someone with no dance experience, kind of going into that, you feel like you're trying to keep hold of a runaway horse. Yeah. And, um, and to get to the other end and still have hold of the horse, I'm, you're not the horse. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> just clarifying, yeah. yeah. The, the dance is the horse. But, um, it, yeah, it was a relief, you oh know. Oh, my gosh, it was exhausting. But, Diane, Motsi picked up on Chris's timing and coordination. How much did you work on that throughout the week in training? Oh, we have to work a lot on timing and coordination. Um, however, Chris has such a good musical ear, mm. so I play to those strengths, and that's why I put lots of little fancy footwork in there and stuff like that, because it is a strength of his, and we want to show them off, don't we, Chris? Well, yeah. Show your little musical ear off. Well, where do you think that comes from, Chris, your musicality? Because Craig commented on it as well, uh, actually. I mean, I love music. I think, I think most standard comedians, they just want to be rock stars that don't have any talent to play an instrument. <laughs> I like if you if you offer me now, I'd, I'd rather be the front man in the rock band than the stand up, you know. So I, I love music. I've got a load of vinyl at home, oh. always listening to music. So it obviously goes in in some way, doesn't it? You wow. Know? Speaking of music, you're going to be doing a salsa to this. Song. Is your salsa looking? <laughs> I wish I could have more enthusiasm for this song, but I've listened to it nonstop for four days. <laughs> Um, the salsa, I mean, look, I, w I was open for a little bit of a step back for, like, in energy uh, from the jive, <laughs> and the salsa has not been that. It has been intense. <laughs> it's, it's got more lifts in it than Canary Wharf. <laughs> um, like, there's tricks, there's lifts. We're both covered in bruises oh. from all of these. You've got, you've got makeup on your legs to I cover do. up the bruises, I haven't do. you? So it doesn't look like I've been beating you up. <laughs> Um, it, it's it's been it's been full on. But what about the hips, Chris? Because you yeah. need the hips as well. It's not just the the lifts and tricks, is it? You got to have the hips. It, me me hips don't do what they're meant to do. I try and move the <laughs> hips. I either I'm either not moving the hips properly, or I move the hips and my shoulders get involved. And she's like, <laughs> your shoulders aren't allowed to have any fun. <laughs> yeah. It's like the bottom half can have fun, but the top half has to be in the library. Yeah, That's but right. speaking yeah. of the bottom half, though, Di, the un, dos, tres timing yes. of the salsa. He is musical, as we said. Yes. Is that going well? It is, yeah. I think you've picked up the one, two, three, five, six, seven very well, haven't you, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. all we're saying though, during the whole thing. One, two, three. A one, two, three. A one, two, three. Yeah. I mean, that's what they say about me. He's a man who can count to three. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, we've actually got a little bit of a WhatsApp that's coming. I try to say to you, are you all right, Chris? I don't get much out of him. I just get a little, uh, uh, I'm all right, Di. And then, so really not much, because I feel like you're just doing your own little thing and you don't um, like to wear yeah. yourself out too much beforehand. No, I'm trying my best not to moan. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing all my moaning in my head. You ask me if I'm all right so many times. And in the end, I say, die, just leave me alone, will you? So 
She's moaning about your moaning. I've heard you say that before. Yes, yeah, that's exactly what happened. But it's working, so it's... we'll keep doing it, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let's talk about Jenny to both of you, because Jenny's doing the choreography, Jenny Thomas. Yes. How's it been working with her this week for the two of you? It's been great, hasn't it? We um, obviously we've I've worked together with Jenny to create this because I want um, Chris to feel as comfortable as possible, yeah. and yeah, we've we've done really well. We've yeah, she is the really experience. really good with the celebrities, She's Jenny, so and all the good. stuff that she brings to the table is brilliant. But listen, good luck with your salsa on Saturday Thank night. Let's you. hear it for Chris and Diane. <laughs> That's it for tonight. Thanks to all of my guests. Fleur will be here tomorrow with Poonam and Gorka talking about the response to their couple's choice. And Wynn and Katya will tell us about that Mrs. Doubtfire transformation. Plus, it's Friday panel time. Who do they think will be going home this weekend? Find out tomorrow. Woohoo!